Hello. If you guys tuned into yesterday's video, you knew that I had a sneaker unboxing coming your guys' way today. In here we have an Air Jordan 1. I'm very excited to unbox it, but I do kind of have a little regret buying this shoe, and I'll address that later in the video. But yeah, let's waste no time and dive right into it. What's up everybody? As always, I hope you guys are having a beautiful, blessed, and lovely day. If you are new here, I'm Jordan, a sneaker collector local to Las Vegas, and today we have an unboxing. Unboxing days are always the best, and in here we have the Air, well, let me show you. red box is nice give you guys a little look at the size tag size 11 women's which is equal to nine and a half men's a lot of people ask me if I'm size X in men's what size would I wear in women's if I'm size X in women's what size would I wear in men's so if you're women sizing you just minus 1.5 to get your men's size and if you're men's size you just add 1.5 to get your women's size pop the lid off whoa okay I forgot about the paper this is dope Got some nice chains on the inside, looking fresh. Did they double wrap them? They did double wrap them, which is nice. First look. Woo, we got the extra laces as well. These are dope. Yo, oh wow. The whole tongue is denim. Get the second one out. So here they are out of the box. These shoes feature a bunch of cool extra add-ons that I want to talk about and that you should know about before you purchase. Overall, out of the box, these shoes are super cool. But we're going to go through them and then I'm going to tell you guys why I personally regret buying these. Starting with the outsole, you get this beautiful denim blue, which looks great. I would love to see this color on regular leather Air Jordan 1s. Moving to the midsole, you have pure white going 360 degrees. There is a Air unit in the midsole, but the Air Jordan 1 is definitely not the most comfortable sneaker out there. Moving to the upper is where the shoe really comes alive. You you can really see the frayed denim and DS pairs come with this Jordan lace bag and inside it you have some red laces I think red laces on these would definitely make them stand out what I like most about this denim on the Air Jordan is that it is frayed if it was clean it would be a different look but I like that Jordan brand sent these out frayed I think it just adds to the character of this shoe. Next, we have the Dubrays. The Dubrays are super sick. They pop. That gold is just shining. They are on white laces, but of course, you can change out the laces with whatever laces you have. On the right one, you have the Jordan Jumpman, and then you have Jordan in a varsity style text. Also, on the right shoe, you get a denim hang tag that features Nike Air in red. The Wings logo on these looks to be stitched on and we receive a full denim tongue. Now on the anterior of the tongue you can see that it is full denim covering the whole front side of the tongue but on the back you can see that the denim is not there. Now before we get into the leather quality let's go ahead and look on the inside of the shoe. On the inside of the shoe you have a white sock liner, you have a red insole and you have a gold Nike Air logo on the inside of it. Now before I purchased these shoes, I saw someone on Insta do a sunset tie-dye to a pair and it looked amazing. Now I don't know if I'll do that on this pair, but that is definitely an option for you guys if you have this pair. Is it the best, most premium leather that you've ever felt and seen? No, but it isn't terrible. And if you're just looking at it, it looks as if it has a nice texture. For the medial and lateral panels, I'd say the leather is pretty good. Around your Achilles tendon, you can feel that the white leather is pretty stiff, it's pretty hard. It has some texture on it, but it doesn't feel very soft. While I'm looking at the back of the shoe, this area in particular, I can see that there are like little yellow areas on the denim. I'm not sure what the cause of that is, but I definitely wanted to point that out for you guys. I'd say the quality control on this pair is pretty good, and this shoe is gonna be super dope if you're a skater. And I also wanna point out this tongue tag. This tongue tag is beautiful. So for $180, you get a Nike Air hang tag, two Dubrays, extra pair of laces, and a pretty dope Air Jordan 1. I also want to point out that I got exclusive early access for these on the sneakers app, which I thought was super cool. But when they arrived after they had already released in stores, I thought that was kind of a bummer because I would have just rather walked into the store and got them same day 
instead of having them shipped and getting them after release date. Now, do I think this shoe is a cop? Yes. But here's why I regret buying it. I ordered this shoe and then the same day or the next day I decided to go out to some sneaker stores. And when I got there I found out that the Fire Red 3 was sitting. Now if someone put a Fire Red 3 and this shoe in front of me, I'd pick the Air Jordan 3. But the thing was, I just ordered these and I didn't even have them in hand to take them to a Nike store to return them. So that kind of sucked and by the time I got these in hand, the Air Jordan 3 was already sold out. It's not like I hate the Air Jordan 1 in the denim or anything, it's just that the Air Jordan 3 is such an important part of the sneaker culture. And if you've watched me unbox the Air Jordan 3 before, you've heard me tell the story of what really happened between the Air Jordan 2 and the Air Jordan 3 and how the Air Jordan 3 almost didn't come to fruition. But overall, is the Air Jordan 1 in the denim colorway clean? Yes. I think it's a super clean shoe. But also, we are going to more sneaker stores around Las Vegas today. Maybe if I'm lucky, they'll still have a pair of Air Jordan 3s. That will be tomorrow's video, so make sure you stay tuned to that to see if I can find a pair of Air Jordan 3s. It's already been a while past release date, but maybe I can get lucky. Let me know if you guys decided to cop the Air Jordan 1 in the denim colorway. Overall, super clean. These Dubrays are fire. I love that we got the extra laces. Let me know if you guys agree with the new retail price of Air Jordan 1s, which is $180. Make sure to keep up with me on Insta at Jordan in Vegas. I will see you guys tomorrow. As always, have a beautiful, blessed, and lovely day. Peace. That was a good one. Cannot take Cody anywhere at all, no matter what. And when EJ, when EJ is around, when EJ's around too, it's just insane.